All right, so we're fixing to get a lesson regarding Octane from Boston Mike. Y'all don't fall in love. Don't fall in love. <laughs> the losing proposition. Okay. So. Is this the Octane conversation? This is the Octane conversation. Yes, I so, was waiting for this. So we, we started out and we, he was basically saying we should be running, what? 100 Octane. 100 Octane. And why? And why. Okay. That's so, what I, I asked. I said, what's the benefit of running higher Octane? The yeah. misconceptions the with Octane. Uh, octane rating, the technical definition of Octane is fuel's resistance to burn, which sounds counterproductive. You would think you want fuel that's easier to burn, but you don't. Fuel that's easier to burn has a tendency to ignite under compression, especially in a high compression motor, it will pre-ignite or pre-ignition problems, which causes spark knock and other problems in the engine. Uh, so you want the fuel to be as difficult as possible to ignite so that it can only burn under extreme conditions, i.e. full compression when we fire the plug so it fires exactly at the time we want it to. And one of the easiest ways to think about this, I'm gonna get my calculator, because uh -oh. I'm not going good. Calculations. Yeah. Oh, so, like <laughs> if you think about your, We're getting real. your bike, I was gonna go with an engine revolution uh, as to like uh, spark. Okay, so what input numbers do you need? Well, I'm saying like a five grand, 5,000 RPM, revolutions per minute. Uh, divided by four, you, uh, you know, your, your strokes. So you'd have, that's 1,250. Uh, so 1,250 times a minute, your spark plug is gonna fire. It has to fire at exactly the right point. And that's what, you know, 28 degrees before top dead center, 32 degrees before top dead, whatever it happens to be. Uh, the more precise that is, the better burn we're gonna get uh, across the top of the piston. Now, so when we're talking about octane, and we're gonna talk about like uh, what the EPA says is our perfect air you fuel mixture. Air yes, I did. Uh, what they say, say 14 to one, uh, which would be 14 point parts air to one part fuel. Help me, because I said this in a, a video before and we mentioned stoichiometric value, which is what you're referencing. Right. How the f did we achieve it? Because I can't remember the calculation. Oh. So like if well, we're looking sorry, at 14 guys, to one, so we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, 14 and then one fuel molecule so when you're talking we were discussing earlier uh, octane booster okay so to artificially inflate octane numbers so we're thinking about as the spark plug fires we'll draw our spark plug over here and our spark we're causing a chain reaction across here to ignite that fuel air mixture basically what octane booster does is it puts in other molecules into this mixture that slow down that process. Basically, they are not going to ignite or they're more difficult to ignite than the air fuel mixture. And that artificially raises your octane rating just by making it more difficult to burn. So it's like, does it help? Of course it helps. It's gonna slow that down so again, uh, we have a more controlled burn. It's only going to ignite exactly when we want it to ignite. Um, and it's more efficient. And it's more efficient. You know, that it's way, again, burn. you think about how fast that engine's turning, when that spark plug has to fire, uh, at exactly the right moment, the more control we can have, the more power we can pull out of the bike. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there that's the difference between like octane booster versus actual high octane. Well, I mean, both of them, that, that, Octane booster, basically what it does is puts an inhibitor in there that slows that down, uh, makes it less likely to accidentally combust, where higher octane fuel, that's already built into the fact that, okay. it, that it's in there. Uh, same effect or? Same effect, yeah. Yeah. exactly. Um, high, but again, when you're using octane booster, you're introducing something that is not exactly fuel. It's an additive. It can leave deposits on your spark plugs and some other stuff. Uh, if you use it like tons and tons of it all the time and stuff, whatever. But it's like where higher octane fuel just naturally uh, through the, the, the refining process is harder to ignite. 
Ah, uh, yeah, it smells good. So we need to buy race gas, is what you're saying? We it's, don't have to buy race no, gas. It's just fun <laughs> to race gas. But we were gonna do this later. We're gonna do one tank at, at pump gas with an octane booster versus what were you saying? We were gonna do one on one? Uh, like hundred octane if it gets hundred octane. Again, the, the problem with that is like you never want to set motorcycles up to where they have to depend on 100 octane because like you know if you want to go ride to orlando where are you going to buy 100 octane yeah exactly you know fifth yeah. at the racetrack and that's about it yeah you know, it's like uh that's ethanol why, free is hard enough to find <laughs> right yeah. Yeah. you know it's funny because like i see guys do this and, and you know whatever it is what it is but you know they'll build harley motors and 13 to 1 14 to 1 compression ratios and they make huge power um but basically you've turned the thing into something that's unrideable unless you have access to race gas uh, where it's basically just a track bike, right, uh, or a drag bike. You know, it's not, not practical. Just, well, you know, you're not riding it to the store. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're not gonna be able to get that kind of gas. And as soon as you put it in there, that thing's gonna be detonating, pinging, and causing all kinds Can of problems. Can y'all believe that much shit is in that head? <laughs> <laughs> that was good, Mike. Thank you. Boston Mike, thanks for the info, man. Appreciate no you. Problem. Yeah. He, he taught for how many years? So he just has a, a, an easier way of of explaining it yeah. than I do. I'm just using my head. He's going to draw it out on paper for yeah. me. Well, it's only funny because I used to teach that class. I used to do like calculations for, uh, like calculations for a spark advance and things like that in my head. But it's been so long since I've had to do that. And it's not something you every day. So for those of you that don't know, he is a uh, previous instructor at MMI, you said, right? Yeah. Yeah, so previous instructor at MMI. I've actually had a couple people in the comments down below say like, yo, that was my instructor. So <laughs> let's go. Right Appreciate you.